sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone and just light it up. You're going to learn how to wood burn with paint, a stencil, a Cricut stencil that I made myself. Let's go. This week, Disney is releasing Cruella. I was so inspired and so excited for the movie. I thought I'd do a wood burning. I designed the stencil in Cricut space on my Cricut. And now I'm just uh, trying to get it down on the board. I have to weed it and um, put it down. I'm using contact paper to place it onto my board. And you know what? I am not going to lie. I do not enjoy weeding. And the struggle's real. It comes up and it sticks when it doesn't. It sticks when you don't want it to stick. It sticks when it doesn't stick when you do want it to stick. I'm going to fast forward this part. I just wanted to show you that it can be difficult. <laughs> like, don't, uh, yeah, don't, um, it took me quite a few tries and quite a, quite a bit of time. I skipped a bunch of parts. So here I am just placing it on my board. Um, you can't see it very good because it's see-through, but it's Cruella. And I'm using a piece of white cedar. Um, I got the white cedar from the sawmill and I'm just gonna place it on there. Okay, Dragon Breath. What is Dragon Breath? Dragon Breath is my new product I am selling. Um, I'm selling it in the States. Indiana Jones is selling it for me in the USA. And if you're in Canada, you can get it through me. Dragon's, Dragon Breath is a jelly. You place it on the board, nothing happens. But then, with the secret of science, art, and magic, when you heat activate it, a wood burning magically appears. It is so cool. I'm participating in Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs challenge today. Her challenge is try it Tuesday. You take a piece of art or a video from YouTube that inspires you and you try it yourself. My first inspiration came from murals by Louis Esparza. Louis took a piece of art from the new Cruella movie and he made it his own. He did a paint pour and all these like black, reds and whites and did a paint pour and then painted Cruella on it. It was so cool. And that's where I came up with this inspiration. I thought, ooh, wouldn't that look good as a wood burning? My second inspiration came from Eli. <laughs> Eli is an adorable Canadian. Man, he's just so talented. His his site, it his YouTube channel is that solely. And he is so funny and unique. Eli inspired me to be myself. To embrace who I am. I'm I'm odd. Like let's face it. I I can be very nerdy and I have chemo brain. My brain is like squirrel all over the place. I'm just, I go from one thing to another and just, it doesn't even make sense half the time. So, you know what? He just inspired me to embrace who I am and really level up my editing. His videos are so cool and I love his editing. So, that's how Eli inspired me. And you know what? I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but I hope I inspire you 
to be a better version of yourself and embrace the imperfection. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to get on here and show you this perfect picture of life and per perfect picture of creating and crafting because that's not what it's about for me. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you smash my subscribe button, ring my bell, and I'm going to link everything in the description down below so you can check out those channels I mentioned. And don't forget to check out the playlist. It's amazing too. And yeah, give them some love and support. YouTube loves that when you engage, when you write a little comment or give them a like. Then they'll um, show more people their channel. This is definitely the ugly phase in my video. <laughs> I always find that art always has an ugly phase before it gets better. So I'm just doing the wood burning now and then I'm going to add some white. I added white with some gel medium. I just um, did like a wash, a white wash with gel medium. You can use Floetrol, you can use Minwaxes, um, what's it called? Um, pickle stain, um, but I just did some gel medium and our cheap acrylic paint 